Have you ever wondered what weapon is the absolute beast in zombies that is actually affordable instead of taking multiple box hits per game? Well, you've actually come to the right video and the place, my friends. And today I'm going to be showing you what is merely the most underrated weapon in zombies. And this video will have you saying very different. So make sure you drop a like down below on this video. And it's going to be lit. It's going to be lit as hell. But seriously, have a look at this picture of a panzer on Pornhub. This is... <laughs> it's crazy. Oh my god. Let's just get into it. So now the weapon that is an absolute killer and is actually the best weapon in all of zombies is the Pharaoh. I'm, I'm just kidding, you actually thought I was serious? What the, what the fuck's wrong with you? But no guys, what I'm talking about is actually the KRM, and yes, I know, you do not like the KRM, but hear me out in this video, you worth, worthless shit, and give me my words of advice. Now, although this gun may be shocking without any attachments, it could potentially be the best shotgun in zombies. Not the best weapon, do not word me for that, best shotgun. But yes, you heard me say that, it is the best shotgun in Zombies so far, it's it's just, it's a, it's a miracle, it's, it's a miracle. And this video is actually just going to show you why, so let's go right into what I'm going to explain. So what you're going to need in order for the KRM to be absolute godlike, I suggest that you get the weapon to max level first, and also have its attachments unlocked. This is all attachments, use all the attachments I use right now in this video. So I'm pretty sure I use stock, uh, quick draw, fast mags, and I believe that's it. And you will have the best weapon possible for this gun. If there's something else I've missed, I don't think I have anything else. I'm pretty sure there's long barrel, and that's about it. There's no rapid fire or, or whatever. But it will actually make this weapon a whole lot of fun to use. And if you chuck speed color on, you're most likely going to have the best setup on the KRM there ever will be. And... You, you just enjoy zombies a whole lot more and you'll probably kill the pans fairly quickly because it actually does work. So if you haven't listened to me and you go down, then you obviously didn't follow the instructions clearly. But let me talk to you a bit more about the weapon. Once all of it is sorted, play around until you get enough points to pack a punch and well, this is where it gets fun. So I'm not even kidding. You'll start to be laughing at why even zombies attempt to touch your damn ass and bother to try and kill you. I haven't yet tried this Master Race weapon on, I believe, a Magua, but it does rip straight into the pans. I'm pretty sure it takes like seven bullets and he's done. He's just wrecked. He's going to sit on the ground with tears coming out of his ass and Blundell's flying out of his eyes. But as you can see in the gameplay right now, I'm not joking around when I say this weapon is good. It's like a wonder weapon, but as a shotgun. It's like the Blunder Gat, but better. But you're pretty much stuffing around, not even bothering, and it just says it all for itself. And if you've ever used the weapon in-game with how I use it, refer it back to me because I don't lie about this kind of shit, and I'll actually use this gun every single game in Zombies just to make sure that I have a whole lot of a good setup before I go and pack a bunch and get my bow. So take my word of advice and share this video with your friends because I guarantee you they will agree with me as well as you and you'll just have a whole lot more fun in zombies. But now that is all for today's video. If you enjoyed this tutorial or just thought it was helpful in any way, shape or form and you seem to struggle with zombies and would like to see more of these, then make sure to leave me a like down below. And if you haven't yet subscribed, then I encourage you to do so right now. But for now, have a great day and I'll see you all in the next video.